So we have question number 56 with us. The question number 56 says the major product obtained in the following reaction is. So this is the question given. Here we have tertiary butoxide and high temperature. So at elevated temperature, strong base gives us elimination product, not the substitution products. So these three options are giving us substitution product. So only option which is correct is option 4. So the correct answer for this question is option 4. Let's move to the next question, which is question number 57. It says, which of the following compounds will behave as a reducing sugar in an aqueous potassium hydroxide solution? Aqueous potassium hydroxide solution hydrolyzes ester to alcohol group. Here, in this case, we have ester group. It will be hydrolyzed by QH, giving us OH group at C1 position. Now this is a reducing sugar. Hence, the correct answer for this question will be option 3 only. Now let's move to question number 58. Question number 58 says 3 methyl pent 2 in on reaction with HBr in presence of peroxide forms an addition product. The number of possible stereoisomers for the product is 4 options are given. Here we can see we have HBr in presence of organic peroxide that is anti Markovnikov's addition is taking place. So we have 3 methyl pen 2 in. Let us draw the structure of 3 methyl pen 2 in. So this will be 3 methyl pen 2 in. In this, we are adding HBr in presence of peroxide. Let us say organic peroxide. So this will give us anti Markovnikov addition that is negative part get with that is negative part will get attached to that carbon atom which has more number of hydrogens. So this will be the product formed. Here we can see we have two chiral centers and no element of symmetry. Hence, the total number of stereoisomers will be 2 to the power 2 that is equals to 4. So, 4 stereoisomers will be formed in this reaction. Hence, the correct answer for this question is option 2. Now, let's move to the next question, which is question number 59. 